Welcome back, you beautiful imbeciles. Time to educate you with some truth. Mutations, what are they? Well, see, my friend, just like an overhyped video game, you're made up of code. But while cyberpunk is coded in C++, you and every other living being are coded in DNA. And every now and then, when said living being does the love dance either with a partner or themselves, they produce an offspring with a little change in their DNA. In most cases, this is a bug, but sometimes it's a feature. Now sadly, you're not going to have any mutations that give you indestructible claws, but you do still have the best supercomputer in the entire universe. Now some of us have some really cool features, and some of us have some pretty gnarly bugs. So what incredible, or down bad, mutations exist out there? And do you maybe have one? Blue Fugates, or Fugates as I like to say. A couple hundred years ago, two people had a mutation resulting in a hidden gene called MetH. But when they did the deed and had the stork deliver their child, these two recessive genes came together to make some tragic magic. Cause you see, when you have two occurrences of this rare gene, well my friend, it causes your skin to be blue. You know, for all we know, these guys might not even be wearing face paint. But the reason I say tragic is cause while you might be the coolest kid in school, it has a number of side effects such as headaches, dizziness, and random lapses in consciousness. It's sad, really, having to wake up super fatigued in the morning, look in the mirror, and have to say to yourself, I'm blue, I'm indeed, I'm dying. The blueness is caused by oxidized blood. Normal people have a protein called hemoglobin in their blood, which is what picks up the oxygen from your lungs. But people with this disease have a deranged version of hemoglobin called methemoglobin, which can't carry oxygen as easily. Hence, the look of being constantly suffocated. Tree Man Syndrome Instead of waking up with morning wood, you are the wood. Yeah, I kid you not, this disease makes you look like Groot. Tree Man Syndrome is caused by a mutation in the TMC gene, and makes carriers susceptible to a virus known as HPV. Not gonna try saying that. This disease starts in the hands and feet, but over time spreads to the rest of the body. People who have this disorder aren't in any real danger, as they can have surgery to remove the infected sections of the body. That being said, the warts seem to reappear, so they'll need to have surgery around twice a year, so the real victim of this disease is your wallet. Tetrachromacy. This is a mutation in the opsin gene, the gene that codes for light receptors in your eyes, known in the field as cone cells. Most people have three types of cone cells, for red, green, and blue light. And with these three color cones, we can pretty much see all colors. Hence, LED lights function this way too. But when someone has this opsin mutation, they have an extra cone, adding an entirely new dimension of color which allows them to see an estimated 100 million more colors than the average person can. It's basically the opposite of color blindness, which occurs when someone has damaged cones. Hutchinson Guilford Progeria I'm 24 years old and going through something of a quarter-life crisis, but at least I got to enjoy my first 24 years without constantly thinking about my mortality. Someone with Progeria starts these thoughts at the age of 6. Well, not really, but they look like they do. See, the people with Progeria have a mutation in their LMNA gene. This gene protects the nucleus, which in turn protects DNA. Without this protection, cells die a lot faster, causing people with this mutation to age a lot faster. So a kid will be fresh out of college and actually get away with having the 20 years of job experience. But sadly, most of them won't even make it that far, since the average lifespan of someone with Progeria is only 14 years, with the primary cause of death being cardiovascular disease. Fish odor syndrome. Yeah, this one's pretty tough, not gonna lie. I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. You smell like an unwashed box. This is caused by a mutation in the FMO3 gene. The purpose of this gene is to make enzymes that break down a chemical called trimethylamine. This is the chemical that causes the fishy smell. It comes out when people breathe, sweat, and go to the bathroom. Certain things make it worse, such as stress and unsurprisingly eating fish. Well folks, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!